We are finally ready to show you our new signature drifter model. This one was built on a Ford Transit 148 extended all-wheel drive model 2023. The drifter model is the perfect combination between a Wonder model that has an outdoor shower and the nomadic model that has a full enclosed shower with a toilet inside. If you do not want to spend that much space for a full enclosed shower inside your van because maybe you go to the gym or you're only using it with the outdoor shower during the winter, but you still want the option to sometimes shower if you go on a ski trip, for example, this fold-down shower of our drifter layout is the perfect combination. Let me show you, and since we're talking about the fold-down shower, let's start with the fold-down shower. So the flip-down shower is actually opening in the entrance of the van, so it doesn't take any space inside your living space. It does take around 30 seconds to set it up and to take it down before and after you take a shower, but overall, with the amount of space that you save, it is a very nice compromise. So once you open the flip down shower, you can see that the shower head, the faucet and the drain is integrated inside the system. All you have to do before taking your shower is to set up the shower curtains. So the shower curtains simply attaches on the ceiling of your van through four hooks. The bottom part is magnetic and will attach on the shower pan itself. It takes around 30 seconds. It might not be, not be as comfortable as a full enclosed shower, but for the amount of space saved, it's a really nice system. As you can see, this build comes with both a passenger and a driver side swivel. The drifter layout is very similar to a Wonder layout. So as you can see, you have the flip down shower in the hallway, but on the driver's side, you do have the two benches with the table. The table drops down in the middle to turn the bench area, the seating area into a full bench or an extra bed if need be. We did a lagoon table mount instead of a table mount to allow the two clients to have a lot more room for their knees under the, the table. It also allows them to have some extra storage under the table instead of having the table mount directly on the floor. On our signature drifter model, like on our signature wanderer model, one of the bench is used for the separate hybrid toilet. And one of the bench is used for regular storage. On the passenger side, you have the sink, the tetra shower on its left towards the front of the van, with under the sink, the mobile cook stove, then you have the fridge, a very long countertop, a lot of storage on both sides, upper cabinets on both the passenger and the driver's side, an extra countertop here. The bed wall is open because they are gonna take care of a dog for a period of time, so they wanted to create a little dog den under the bed. Then you have a queen size bed with mattress in the boxes to allow 76 inches in the length, which is a very comfortable bed. They have a 12 volt AC unit above the bed with a 12 volt max air fan in front to create a nice airflow. Some nice design, whether it's the divider between the kitchen area and the bed area and above the bed windows, box screen in the front and the back. The van comes with uh, an EcoFlow 500 amp hour electrical system and a uh, Webasto gas with digital control. For this build, the bed height is at our standard height. It's not extra high because there was nothing specific to fit under the bed. The client did request anyway to have a step to make it easier to go into bed. So we put some very heavy duty slides on the lower drawers just in front of the bed to turn it into a step that can actually be fixed. The lighting in this van is a little bit different. The client didn't want the usual puck lights inside the ceiling. Rather, he preferred to install some LED strips from the front part to the back part of the van. The EcoFlow system gives you the option to connect two sets of solar panels. So we have the solar panels that are usually on top of the van, but for this van, the customer wanted the option to also add an external port if they have portable solar panels that they want to set up when they're at campgrounds, for example, to give you double the juice. So on the outside of the van, we connected a second port for solar panels that can simply be plugged in. So here, for example, I use the 400 watt 
uh, portable solar panels from EcoFlow. It is quite big, it gives you a lot of juice, but EcoFlow also has portable ones in 160 and 220 that are a lot smaller. You just unfold them, direct them to the sun, and simply connect the end to the side of your van. In the garage area, we have a pull-out drawer to make it very easy to access everything in the garage. We have our standard outdoor shower with all the plumbing compartment on the passenger side. On the driver's side, we have the electrical system with a WeBoost, an extra outlet, the awning crank, the standard shower mat with the shower string in between the two back doors. Magnetic box screen, custom made um, roll up shades, and finally, the client wanted an entire set of insulated window cover to cover all the windows in the van. These cover sets are actually very, very efficient to keep the van either warm or cold, whether it's winter or summer. And, and that's it. <laughs>